vision is to promote a high performing culture and climate that will inspire our community of learners to achieve academic excellence. Our mission is to reach, to teach, and to equip, and our theme for the year is maximizing our potential. Let's pause so that we can recite our student creed. Here's my Oakview creed. I am an Oakview Elementary School student. I have great expectations for myself. I accept the challenge to become the best student that I can be. I am proud of my school. The vision of Oakview is to promote a high performing culture and climate and to aspire our community of learners to achieve academic excellence. I accept the responsibility for my behavior and its results. I am determined to be safe, responsible, productive, and respectful. I have high expectations for myself and I reach my full potential. I'll choose to be great. Parents, as we continue to have conversations uh, with our district and our community about reopening school, I want to make sure that we're doing our part uh, as a community group. Please make sure that you're continuing to wash your hands and keeping your family safe. Um, while we're still in this pandemic season, we want to make sure that as our students prepare to enter the building, that they'll be entering safely. Also, it is almost time for MAP testing. We have one more week left. Um, and so if you have not already sent your opt-out email, please don't forget to do so to Sabrina underscore M underscore Presley at DeKalb Schools, GA dot org. Uh, for those of you that are choosing to allow your students to come into, into the building for MAP testing, please go ahead and work with your students. Have them keep on a mask for the the day parents so they can get used to having a mask on all day long we do we will not be able to permit students to take masks off while in the building so please have them do that go ahead and work with them on sanitizing regularly um, while they are away from home and they will need to bring their own bottled water because our water fountains are closed. So I appreciate you. Be looking for more information as well. Next week, um, we will have our Georgia Milestones Parent Workshop to get you ready for that to make sure that you are prepared to continue to help your students as we plan for state testing. Those are all the announcements I have for today. Let's have a great day. Oh, you. Good morning, Oakview Owls. We are going to have a virtual vocabulary parade. Here's what you need to do. First, select a book you have read. Next, choose a new vocabulary word from the book. Think of a creative way to describe this vocabulary word. Maybe you can dress up, act out the word, draw a picture, or assemble a display. After that, write a label with the book title, the word, the definition of that word, your name, and grade level. And finally, take a picture of your creation and its label and email that picture to Ms. Johnson, our media specialist. All of your submissions will be displayed in our virtual vocabulary parade taking place March 5th, featured on the morning announcements and our Instagram page. Get ready, get set, go. Get creative, get reading, and turn in those submissions to Ms. Johnson by February 24th.
All right, boys and girls, we are doing something different for our Black History Fact for the day. We need you to watch this next video and submit three facts you learned from the video via Class Dojo. The first three students to submit three facts written in complete sentences will win a very special prize from Miss Heard. So submit those three facts via Class Dojo to Miss Heard. Dr. Daniel Hale Williams performed the first ever heart surgery in 1893 without the assistance of x-rays, antibiotics, or modern anesthesia. Dr. Dan, as he was known, was born in Pennsylvania and received his medical degree from Chicago Medical School. In 1891, he founded Provident Hospital, the first interracial hospital in Chicago on the city's south side. The hospital established the first black nursing school. One fateful day, two years later, a young black man named James Cornish was brought to Provident Hospital with a serious wound on his chest. With his patient bleeding heavily, Williams saw only one option. He performed surgery on James' chest, fixing the severed artery, and then closed the wound. James was discharged 51 days later, fully recovered. He lived another 20 years, proving the success of Dr. Dan's operation. Greetings, Oakview. Thank you for having another mindful moment with favors. So wiggle your body around so you can make any adjustments so that you can be comfortable. Wiggle your feet, notice the floor up under your feet. Wiggle your bottom, notice the chair under you and your back. Make sure your spine is straight. Your spine are those bony discs that run down the center of your back. Make sure they are straight. Rest your hands comfortably in your lap. Allow your eyes to close. Now focus on your breath. You may place your hand on your belly. Feel your belly blow up like a balloon as you breathe in. Feel it deflate as you breathe out. Guess what, Oakview? Our minds are always racing with thoughts. Some of those thoughts are regrets of decisions that we made in the past. Some of those thoughts are worrying about what may happen in the future. Well, we can move our bodies and take mindful walks to help us reduce some of that mind chatter, some of that busyness in our minds. When we walk, sink when you take a walk, sink your footsteps with your breath. When you sink your footsteps with your breath, your footsteps begin to slow down, okay? You begin to slow down, and then you begin to notice the ground under your feet, and you begin to note the busyness around you. Mindfulness is more than being still. Mindfulness is anchoring yourself in your breath, so that you can have a more whole experience. Thank you, Oakview. Have a great day.